Good morning, dear students. Welcome back again with a new session of science. Lesson number eleven: Human body and organ system. Now, different organs in our body are working in a group as to smoothly carry out various life process. This life process takes place in various steps. specific organs carry out the specific steps groups of organ working together to perform specific function is called as organ system now for example excretory system removal of waste material respiration taking in oxygen giving out carbon dioxide reproduction production of the same species likewise many functions are being carried out in our body so various organ systems like digestive system respiratory system circulatory system nervous system excretory system reproductive system skeletal muscular etc are functioning in our body now it should go on smoothly so we are going to discuss about each and every function which is taking place in our body now in order to carry out this function in our body energy is essential to operate all the life process in human body energy reproduction occurs within the cells cells need the supply of soluble nutrients or oxygen for the purpose so in order that we should get energy cell requires oxygen and to get oxygen we have to inhale so when we inhale it oxygen reaches to the cell this supply takes place with the help of respiratory and circulatory system respiration is carried out through the following three steps the first step is external respiration in that part a is inspiration or we also call it as inhalation air is taken in through nose and sent towards the lungs through trachea trachea is also called as windpipe expiration or we also call it as exhalation oxygen is inspired air goes into blood blood carries the carbon dioxide from various parts of the body towards the lungs this air is given out by the exhalation so here the blood is taking out carbon dioxide from each and every cell of the body and it brings back to the lungs when we exhale out carbon dioxide is given out and when we inhale it oxygen is taken inside both this process occurring with the help of lungs are collectively called as external respiration now internal respiration exchange of gases between the cells and tissue fluid is called as external internal respiration oxygen moves from blood into tissue fluid and carbon dioxide moves from the tissue fluid into blood cellular respiration now dissolved nutrients like glucose are slowly burned with the help of oxygen and energy is released with the help of atp waste materials like carbon dioxide and water vapors are produced through the process cellular respiration can be summarized as follows c6h12o6 which is called as glucose in the presence of oxygen gives carbon dioxide plus water plus energy in the form of atp molecules 38 atp molecules so in higher case of animals 38 atp molecules in lower case very two very less energy is required in the form of 2 atp molecules so here internal respiration is exchange of gases between the fluid and the tissues in the blood now cellular respiration the exchange of gas takes place inside the cell the first is called cellular respiration in simple language now 
respiratory system structure and function respiratory system and respiration begins with nose air is filtered with the help of hair and mucus present in this and therefore the hair is there inside the nostrils which helps in filtration filtration of the air whatever harmful particles are there that is being absorbed by the or hold by the air and only pure only the air goes inside the lungs pharynx food pipe and wind pipe originate in the pharynx wind pipe is present in front of the food pipe there is a lid at the beginning of the wind pipe the lid closes the beginning of the wind pipe the lid closes the wind pipe during the passage of food into food pipe and thereby normally prevents the entry of the food particles into the wind pipe otherwise the wind pipe remains open hence air passes through the pharynx into the pipe now here that is why at the time of eating if we eat and talk so what will happen both the pipe will get open wind pipe as well as food pipe so food pipe food instead of going to the food pipe has option both the options it may go into the wind pipe and food pipe also and therefore we start coughing and it's better so while eating we should not talk so that only the food pipe is open and food goes directly to the food pipe instead of the wind pipe wind pipe is swollen at the beginning due to sound box wind pipe bifurcates in the thorax one branch enters the right lung and the other branch is uh, to the left lung so wind pipe is connected to the lungs now lungs lungs is present in either side of the heart in thoracic cavity maximum area of thoracic cavity is composed by lungs and they cover the maximum part of the heart each lung has double layered covering it is called as flora pleura lungs are elastic take a sponge lungs are made up of many small compartments called as alveoli now this alveoli is just like orange the layer is very thin so that exchange of gases can take place very easily so these grips like structure we call it as alveoli rich network of capillaries is present around each alveoli walls of the alveoli and capillary are extremely thin gas exchange can easily take place across these thin walls as as large number of alveoli are present in the lungs large surface area is available for gaseous exchange exchange of gases in lungs gases exchange occurs continuously while blood is circulating around the alveoli as iron containing protein hemoglobin is present in the rbc the blood ha- rbc of the blood hemoglobin absorbs the oxygen from the air within the alveoli simultaneously carbon dioxide and water vapors move from the blood into the alveoli thus oxygen is taken into the blood and carbon dioxide and water vapors are removed out from the blood and given to the given out by exhalation so this concept makes it very much clear that when we inhale we take in oxygen and when we exhale the carbon dioxide from each and every cell comes here to the lungs and it is given out when we exhale out then diaphragm diaphragm another organ the muscular partition is present in the base of the thoracic cage this partition is called as diaphragm it is present between the thoracic cavity and abdominal cavity seven is rising up of ribs and lowering of diaphragm causes the decrease in pressure in the lungs 
due to this air moves into the lungs through the nose when the ribs return to the, the original position the diaphragm rises up pressure on the lungs increases due to this the air moves out from the through the nose continuously upward and downward movement of diaphragm is necessary to bring about the breathing so when we inhale it oxygen goes in rib cage expands exhale out rib cage contracts now this process continuously takes place in all that we should breathe successfully remaining part of this lesson we will do it later on in the next video till then have a great day